Okay, so in this video, we will see how to add a background image to the MATLAB GUI using the App Designer. Before that, one thing I would suggest is that we should put all the files needed by the app or by the MATLAB GUI placed in the same folder. So here, um, suppose I create a file called GUI example. And in it, I enter the image file that I want to use as a background image. And then we go to MATLAB, and then to the top left corner, we look for the location of the folder that we have created. The easy way is that we can copy and paste the location in the file explorer into MATLAB. Copy then paste and just click enter then after the folder is open we can continue to open the app designer click on the apps menu above and then select the leftmost menu namely design app here we just select the blank app after it opens, then to add a background image, we can click and drag the image icon. Then we select Browse Image Source, and it will open the folder containing the image for the background. After the image appears, after the image appears we just need to adjust the shape of the image and canvas to match what we want we can adjust the shape of the image the size the alignment such as horizontal alignment vertical alignment and the scale method here is fit and then fill None, scale down, scale up, and stretch. We can also adjust the shape and size of the canvas. Okay. After the shape is right, then we can add other attributes or components to our MATLAB GUI. Suppose we want to add buttons. And then we want to add axis. And then we want to add checkboxes. And lastly, we want to add labels. Once finished, then we just have to save the file to the previous folder location. which is the same folder for the background image. After saving, now we just need to run it. And the MATLAB GUI that we have created is now complete. So the important thing here is that the first, we have to put all the files we need to make this GUI in the same folder. Secondly, if we want to make an image as a background image, then we have to put it first. And then we can add anything to the image with components, such as buttons, axes, checkboxes, and labels. Okay, looks like that's all for this video. Hopefully it's useful. That's all and thank you very much.